Good morning, hope you're well, and thank you for tuning in here, NBC 16. So here's the deal on the weather. Wednesday and into the weekend, these temperatures here will drop five, six degrees. You know, it's called technical difficulty. Technical difficulties, is, so. that always happens on a Monday, I, I swear. Know. If it can go wrong, it, it will. It will go wrong. Oh but. well. All right, let's just get into it right now. Let's go to our live <laughs> shop buddy. His name is Lauren Rourke. An upper level trough. What's that gonna do for us? It's gonna bring our temperatures down. Uh, more kind of seasonable will be low mid 70s by week's end, but it's also going to bring some morning clouds to western Oregon. It's going to be hot today, and if the heat doesn't get you, well, you know the rhythm will. A big hit back in 1987 from Gloria Estefan. You remember this song, Kendall? Rhythm is gonna get you, the rhythm is gonna get you. Oh, I love that song. From First Avenue Shelter, good morning, Sarah. Good morning. Who's this? This is Maya. She's an eight year old, 80 pound husky, as you can tell. <laughs> um, she's got gorgeous gold eyes. Uh, she's just a beauty. She really is. She really is. What a beautiful, beautiful and husky. <laughs> I think I'm more excited about the 80s jersey than I am the game. <laughs> I grew up in the 80s, you know? Roseburg, beautiful. Clouds now, partly sunny later. At the end of next week, we could see some light showers because there's a system way up in British Columbia, Columbia which will slowly but surely trickle down our way. All right, so there's that. But that's not till next week, Wednesday and Thursday, Friday. Until then, we're looking good. Florence on down south. We have a small craft advisory. It has been extended now until Sunday morning at 5. Here we go. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time to get you weekend ready. The Eugene M's, they're back in town to take on the Tri-City Dust Devils this weekend. I would like to invite you to play Tanner's Terrific Trivia. So today, it's our first day of summer. It's the summer solstice, uh, officially at 8.54 this morning. And Kendall, today, of course, the longest day of the year. So how many hours of daylight do you think we'll have today? 13.25, 14.75, or 15.29 hours of daylight? Can I ask how much we had yesterday? No. Uh, I'm going to go with B. That's incorrect. A! A, C. That's incorrect. It's C. That's right. 15.29 <laughs> hours of daylight today. I am struggling. Yes, you are. With the trivia today. <laughs> My yeah. guesses are so off. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> and thank you oh, again. That, that music just makes me feel okay <laughs> with it. Here you go. 546, and this is Friday, June 21st. Time to go through a bunch of fun, so goofy holidays. So many fun holidays. It's go, go skateboarding day. You said you have a skateboard. Did you skateboard as a kid? I used to love skateboarding as a kid. Yeah? Are you going to go today? Well, no. Justine gets mad at me anytime I say when I... She thinks I'm too old and I'm going to kill myself. I think you would definitely need all the, the helmet. The suit the, of armor. The, the, uh, it's elbow also pads, everything. National Daylight Appreciation Day. And we're just talking about the 15.29 hours of daylight that we're going to have today. Perfect. I yep. bet people in Alaska love this day. Also, International Day of Yoga. You're oh, the yeah. one that's like zen and zen. do been, your hot yoga. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I haven't done it much lately. So I'm kind of stiff, but yeah. boy, it feels good. I um, bet if you did it, it would feel good. Oh my gosh, it's the best day ever. Take your dog to work day. Why didn't you bring Parker here? I might bring Parker later. Really? Yes. Now this time of year, we should be about 73, 74, and we're going to actually drop into the high 60s for Eugene on Thursday, if you can believe that. Sophia, you are a professional. Oop, she's taking a job call. They're hiring right now, a great opportunity. How would you like to attend the Garth Brooks show and get paid for it. Welcome to this week's Work Watch Wednesday. Gotcha. Well, yeah. thank you so much. And Maya, yeah. all the best to you. You need a forever home is <laughs> what Maya needs. Let's put the info up on the screen. And late morning, we're going to start to see it trickle down a little bit closer to I-5, but it will remain east of the I-5 corridor, these showers. And that's what you see right there. But we'll be dry for the coast. And we'll be dry up and down I-5 and cooler temperatures today, only looking at upper 60s for Eugene. The grass pollen count, it's on the high end again today. So if you, you know, you're sneezing and itchy eyes and all that good stuff, sore throat, today might be one of those days for you. The trees, though, if that's your allergy, uh, it's on a low count, but the grass is up there. All right, so our future cast showing that uh, deep marine layer for the coast. Of course, it burns off, and I've said before and many a time, you'll have that sunshine this afternoon. And we'll all be breezy today. In fact, uh, not just the coast, but the I-5 corridor uh, will have wind gusts in the upper 
upper teens, about 17, 18 miles per hour. And I'm Greg Tanner, and I would imagine you were a little chilly this morning. It was. It was also a little breezy. Aha. Uh -huh. We are cooler now than yesterday. Do you know how much cooler? Six degrees. Seven degrees. Oh, close enough. No, close. Wait till you see the numbers, especially as we head into the weekend, our first official weekend of summer. There is a small craft advisory from Florence to Cape Blanco, and that expires Saturday night at 11. You know the drill. Inexperienced boaters, small boats, best you just stay out of the water. So we're starting out with the clouds. Now, most of these clouds are, like I say, coming up from the north. Portland's riddled with clouds right now. As far as we take you through the day, we will be mostly sunny, beautiful along the coast. What about tonight? Well, when you come home, of course, don't forget those sunglasses. Dry and no rain in the forecast. Late night tonight, as you can see, here's midnight. We'll start to see a few more clouds. Okay, how many teeth do humans have? What do you think? How many? How I many? think it's like 36 or something like it's that. It's 32. Oh, I was going to say 32. All right, got to go with your gut. How many teeth do dogs have? Oh, they have more than that, like 40 something. I need an answer. I don't know, 42. That's correct. No! Oh, hey, yay. Boom, fist bump there. And what about cats? How many teeth? Oh, I don't know. Do cats have? Take a guess. Uh, uh 38. Incorrect. 30. Oh, 30, 30, bless. 30. Well, you're the cat person. This is true. So you would know. I'm the crazy cat guy. Good morning. It's 509. Hope you're doing well. Here is St. Augustine, Florida, laying claim for the oldest city in America, founded in 1565. And a beautiful morning there. You got the water, you got the palm trees. It's really all you need. You have some cake with her tonight, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. If you're celebrating a birthday or anniversary today, well, let's see. You're sharing it with choreographer and singer. Oh, Paula Abdul. Of course, Kendall, today, very exciting day. Um, it's our first day of summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, what time locally is the summer solstice? 7.29 a.m., 7.58 a.m., or 8.54 a.m.? Kendall, oh, what's your answer? B. Nah. A. Nah. C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>